Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. This is the newest and biggest addition to EcoFlow's River 2 lineup, and it's one that's really impressed me. When I got this in the mail, it being a sub one kilowatt hour power station, I sort of had an idea in my mind of what it would be capable of, and I was totally wrong. After testing it out, I really think that this might have more in common with some of the larger Delta Series models than it does the River Series. Even though it can't do quite everything that the larger power stations can do, it's still by far the most capable, smaller power station that I've ever tested. So I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sending us this out for us to take a look at today and for sponsoring this video. So getting into the basic specs of the River 2 Pro, it has a capacity of 768 watt hours and its batteries are LFP or lithium iron phosphate. This battery chemistry has a much longer lifespan than other lithium batteries and it can retain 80% of its original capacity after 3000 cycles. So in practical terms, that comes out to around 10 years of just normal everyday use. They also have a low self discharge rate, meaning that you can store them without having to worry about the battery being dead when you need to use it. The River 2 Pro weighs just over 17 pounds, so it'll be easy to load up and take it with you wherever you need to go. And having a lightweight option is very nice because pretty much everybody in your family should be able to move it around if needed. The River 2 Pro comes with a five-year warranty, which is very good for a device that relies so heavily on batteries. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, be sure to use the link in the description below and the code DIYPREP5 at checkout. That's going to give you an extra 5% off either the River 2 Pro or the River 2 Pro plus 220 watt solar panel, and that's valid until May 3rd. And if you order between April 3rd and April 9th, then you can get a free River 2 Pro bag and some extra eco credits. When it comes to charging the River 2 Pro, you have all the options you would expect. It can handle 940 max watts from an AC outlet from like a wall or a generator, and it can go from zero to 100% in 70 minutes, which is really fast, especially compared to other competitors in the market. For solar input, it can handle up to 220 watts and can recharge in four and a half to nine hours, depending on your panels and how much sunlight they're getting. The process for hooking it up to panels is identical to other EcoFlow solar generators. Start by unfolding your panels and setting them upright, then clip the stand to the panels using their D-rings. Connect the cables on the panel to the charging cable and then plug the cable into the device. Using one set of 160 watt panels I'd already had, I was able to get around 130 watts pretty consistently. You can also charge the River 2 using the 12 volt outlet in your car and that should take around nine hours. That's very useful if you wanna use this maybe like when you're on a road trip or you're camping and you can use the USB-C port for charging as well. When you order the River 2 Pro, it'll come with its AC charging cable a car charging cable, one DC5521 cable, and if you get the River 2 with a 220 watt solar panel, you'll also get a solar charging cable as well. The River 2 Pro can also be used with the EcoFlow app to do things like monitor power levels and turn outputs on and off. It is important to note that you can use this without the app, but the app does allow you to access some of its more advanced settings. As far as ports go, it has 11 total, meaning that you'll be able to power several devices at once. It has four AC plugs, all of which can accommodate three prong plugs, and those can provide up to 800 watts total. If you're using X-Boost, then you can power devices that would normally require up to 1600 watts, and I think EcoFlow has improved that technology recently, and I'll cover that a little bit later in the video. Another good thing about this unit is that it does a very good job keeping itself cool. It has a fan that it uses to accomplish this, and while it does use up some power, it also helps keep those batteries cool, which can prevent them from degrading. It has three USB-A ports for charging small devices and one USB-C port, which can be used for charging phones, some laptops, and battery banks. And it has a 12-volt car plug and two DC5521 ports as well. And as far as real-world applications go, I think having something that can handle both short-term emergencies and long-term situations is very important because we all know that our grid is vulnerable to both natural and man-made threats. And having something like a solar generator that runs on natural renewable resources is very good since it reduces your independence on things like gasoline and propane. Some other advantages of a solar power option include things like they don't make a whole lot of noise, which is good from a security standpoint. Point. They also don't require a whole lot of maintenance because there's really not all that many moving parts. 
So most of the cost for this is going to be up front. You're not going to have to continue to buy fuel, oil, spare parts, air filters, spark plugs, things like that. They're also safe to use indoors since they don't produce fumes, and they're going to limit how often you have to use extension cords because they're portable. You can just take them wherever the device is, set it down next to it, plug it in, and you're good to go. Now, most of the time, power stations that are under one kilowatt hour aren't going to be able to run some of your larger appliances, but the River 2 Pro can run some of them. I was able to use it to run an entire load of laundry on my washing machine, and it did it without any problems. And that really surprised me because I tried to do that with a larger power station from a competitor editor a while back and it wasn't able to do it. So that kind of got my wheels turning trying to think of what I could do to see what this thing was fully capable of and so I drug out my power tools. First I hooked it up to my angle grinder and it was able to cut through a metal bar without any issues. Next I plugged it into my miter saw and made a few cuts in some pressure treated lumber. I then used it with my table saw to square up the edges of the boards that I just cut. And if I wasn't filming, I would probably use an extension cord to get the River 2 Pro a little bit further from the saw to protect it from dust. But being able to use power tools if you have them is an important consideration if you're concerned about a longer term situation because you may need to make repairs. You may need to build fortifications. Being able to use your power tools is gonna let you do that quicker. You're not gonna expend as much energy and you're really gonna be thankful for that if you're not able to eat the way that you normally would. Since it was able to run my larger power tools without any issues, it didn't have any issues running some of my smaller tools. It was able to cut through some plywood using my jigsaw, and I was also able to run my random orbit sander as well. The River 2 Pro was able to power my heat gun, and this is one instance where X-Boost comes in handy. Although the inverter won't go above 800 watts, it'll still provide power up to that point for devices that would normally require more. So in the case of a heat gun, and then also other things like hair dryers, it may not get as hot as it normally would, but it'll probably still be usable. Another important tool that you can run with the River 2 Pro is an air compressor, and it didn't have any problem with it, but one of the best ways to use a power station or solar generator with power tools is to recharge cordless tool batteries. This will allow you to use a wide range of tools, including drills and saws. There's really not a whole lot of limitations with cordless tools these days. And aside from being able to run larger appliances and power tools, you'll also be able to use the River 2 Pro to do some things that are more commonly associated with emergency preparedness, like food preservation. It can run my small box freezer for around 15 hours, but it wasn't able to run my refrigerator. While it did get it started, the refrigerator sounded like maybe it was a little bit underpowered, so I went ahead and unplugged it to avoid damage. However, 12 volt refrigerator freezers are a very good option when used with a solar generator or power station. They use way less power than a traditional refrigerator or freezer, so you'll be able to keep them running for a longer period of time. Solar generators are also useful for keeping communication equipment up and running. You should be able to use the River 2 Pro to charge a cell phone numerous times, and it can also be used to recharge emergency radios as well as walkie-talkies. If you have a more powerful radio system, like this 20-watt mobile GMRS radio, you can use the River 2 Pro to power it. But one thing that a lot of people don't think of when it comes to solar power options is that they can be used for indoor gardening. Using the AC power adapter, I could have kept my grow lights running for around 25 hours, but just using the USB plug, the River 2 Pro could keep the same lights running for around 80 to 100 hours. So that's something that's important to think about. If you have something that just plugs into like a power brick so you can plug it into your wall, just don't use that power brick and plug it straight into the USB port and you may be able to keep it running for longer. You can also use a power station like this to run an aero garden. I like to use those to start my seeds. And the River 2 Pro was able to power it for around a day. The River 2 Pro is also very useful for keeping the lights on during a power outage. You can use it to keep lamps running. And if you have rechargeable light bulbs, then you can use it to recharge them while you're lighting your home. And it also works very well to recharge lanterns, flashlights, and headlamps that have rechargeable batteries. These can be lights that use special proprietary batteries or those that just use rechargeable AA's, AAA's, or D cells. 
you probably won't be able to run an air conditioner, at least not for very long, but it will do a very good job running a fan for several hours. But one thing I prefer to do is to use fans that have rechargeable batteries since they last for a long time and they can be placed in different areas of your home. And another thing that I like about power stations like this is that they can be used for more than just emergency preparedness. For example, if you're somebody that likes camping, then you can use it to do things like keep the lights on. You can also use it to inflate air mattresses. If you want to get really fancy, you can use it to power like a laptop or a Blu-ray player along with a projector to have a nice movie night. They're also useful for certain types of jobs like my wife does photography. She doesn't have to haul around extension cords or worry, you know, about where outlets are. All she has to do is set up her lights, put this next to it, plug it in and then she's good to go. Now compared to other EcoFlow power stations, the River 2 Pro will be able to power more devices for a longer period of time than something smaller like the River 2. Having a larger capacity also means that you could use it to power one important device for a longer period of time. While it won't do everything that something like the Delta 2 can do, like run a refrigerator, it can do most of those larger solar generator tasks and for a much lower cost. So I really do think that this could be the best portable power station under one kilowatt hour. If you wanna learn more about how to determine the right size solar generator or power station for your family, go ahead and check out this video. Once again, I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sending us the River 2 Pro to check out and for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.